Hey guys, this past weekend I was on call and I had one call I had to go on. Customer said the outdoor unit was freezing up and it was raining that day. It sucked, but got dressed, went out there, uh, diagnosed it and uh, needed parts. And I had to go back, which is today, I'm gonna go back and put the parts on. So hit that like button, let's get going. All right, guys, out here on an emergency service call. Customer called in, said their unit was froze up, and it surely is. So we got a ream. It is an R22 system from 2004. Ream RPKB 036, three tons. So he uh, he's not here, but he had the neighbor disconnect. I'll pull the disconnect for him. Seems like it's froze up pretty evenly, so it might be a defrost issue. So, let's get into it. It is, what is today? January 6th, 2024, Saturday. All right, started it back up. Um, I'm gonna try to jump the, this pin right here. These two pins, I'm gonna short those two out and see if we can send it into defrost. Okay, it's not going into defrost, so one of two things, board or the defrost thermostat, I usually just do them both at the same time. So it might even come as a kit. Yeah, with these ream boards and any little sensors or anything, I think comes in a, in a kit. So that's probably what we're gonna have to do. But in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're going to jump O. Actually on a ream, we're gonna take away O. We're gonna, um, take away the reversing valve call because it's reversed or we could just do this and that's going to send it into air conditioning and we'll start melting this ice off i'm also going to remove the fan condenser fan that way that's not blowing at the same time all right yeah basically that's we're just simulating a defrost here we're, we've got the condenser fan unplugged and we got it running in air conditioning we're going to let all this ice melt off and hopefully um, this will be good enough to get them by until we can get a defrost board and defrost thermostat for them. Once we get it all thawed out, we will check the charge and everything, but a lot of times when it's froze up like this, good solid frost pattern, the whole coils froze up, chances are it's, the charge is okay. I do wanna find the defrost thermostat though just to see if it's maybe came off or anything like that. So after we get it thawed out, we'll find it. I will say this, this discharge line is not very warm at all. So that's a little weird. It is starting to warm up a little bit. Yeah, it's coming around. <clears throat> it's gonna take a little while to melt all this ice off and there she goes starting to melt Yeah, maybe it won't take as long as I thought. Like I said, I just don't think it's a charge issue here, but we will confirm that. Yeah, I think we're heating up nicely now. This took her a while, this old girl. She is 20 years old. Yes. 
So wherever these this blue and black sensor go, one's probably, yeah, outside air. That's this one. And then wherever that blue one goes is going to be our, which it goes up there somewhere. Yeah, see that blue wire? It goes up there somewhere. That's, that's gonna be our, I, I, I can't get it on camera, but it's it, totally engulfed in ice. So it goes, we got the ice falling. It goes into there. So I believe those, yeah, those wires are soldered onto this board. So it's a part of the board. So it all comes as one kit. Have to get him a new one. It looks original. This board does not look like it's been replaced before. Oh yeah, she's coming off there now. There she comes. Whenever you thaw out anything, just like an indoor coil, you don't want to, you know, stab at it or anything. You just want to let it thaw out naturally. It'll come off there. It's a lot easier <laughs> than thawing out a condenser coil though than an EVAB, that's for sure. <clears throat> Alright, it's pretty much thawed out. I'm gonna turn it off and try to scoop any ice that's in there out. That way we don't have any ice on it at all. Because he's gonna be another two days or so before I can get back here with a with a new board. So we just wanna make sure it's completely free of any ice. It probably took this thing a couple weeks before it froze up this bad, honestly. All right, we're just gonna grab these chunks throw them out of here it doesn't have to be perfect just make sure it's all off the coil yep, that's where that sensor is right there and that was completely engulfed in ice. So it should have been closed. All right, here's our pressures right here. Oh, let's actually switch this to R22. Yeah, so it's not, where it's pretty cool out here, um, I can live with these pressures. Nothing's freezing up right here at the moment. <clears throat> so I, I just don't think this thing's low on charge. Uh, it's maybe about 42 degrees out. So, and when we tried to jump this thing when we got here, tried to jump that pin right there, it wouldn't go into defrost. So that's a telltale sign. As long as your defrost thermostat's closed, that it should go into defrost. So, and it didn't. So we got a bad board, guys. I'm gonna start buttoning this thing back up. All right, guys, we're back. It's got the part right here, board. It's got the sensors in there. Let's grab the bag. We'll get this thing knocked out. We have had some horrible weather here today. Um, they were expecting 50 mile an hour winds, uh, tons of rain. So it's actually dry right now. Well, it's not dry, but it's not raining right now. So I'm gonna try and knock this thing right on out, guys. All right didn't freeze up anymore so that's good it is drizzling a little bit on me and it's windy as all get out all right let's get the cover off. here's the board one thing we got to remember to do is we have to kill the indoor power also because not only does high voltage power come into this board low voltage power does also so let's go kill the air one thing they've done different with this board is the sensors actually plug into the board now instead of being soldered on there 
So that's a, um, I guess that's a plus, but I have to get, I have to be able to get to the sensors also. So the ambient sensor is just gonna hang here, just like the other one is, unless the new one has a way to mount it. Um, but I do have to get to the defrost sensor, defrost thermostat, whatever you call it. And I'm gonna have to take off the, uh, the fan, the top of the unit to get to that. On this particular unit, defrost thermostat is right here. I didn't have to move the unit uh, top very far. So we'll pull that out of there. Doesn't look like there's any zip ties holding it in place. Oh, yep, there's one right there. Let's cut that. Now let's open up the old Vito. Uh, find the dikes, which are right here. Let's cut that wire. that all the way up and out which actually let me just cut the sensor right off of it and then we have our ambient sensor right there all right and now the rest of it is just wiring you guys it got hella windy after i set this camera up to uh, film me doing this defrost board. So I figured I'd just do a voiceover right here. What I like to do whenever I'm doing a board or a control contact or something like that, as long as I have the wire leads to do it, I'll just take the screws out, move the board out of the way with the wire still connected, and then mount my new control and then just grab each wire and move it over individually. That way you know you're landing the wires on the right spot and uh, you're not pulling a bunch of wires off at one time. Now sometimes you only have a couple wires you have to do at once uh, and it's not that big a deal. And sometimes it's gonna be impossible to do this because the wire leads will be too short. But most of the time you'll be okay and you should be able to do it this way. So uh, that's just the way I like to do it. And then yeah, we're just gonna uh, uh, pop one wire off at a time and move them over. So these two right here, my yellow and my brown, they're gonna go to my compressor contactor coil, my 24 volt side of that. So we'll pop both those on. And then the bottom black two are gonna be for my reversing valve. One's gonna be 24 volt reversing valve. One's gonna be the common for the reversing valve. And that makes up the, the four wires along that left side. Going across the top, we have another common wire coming from our thermostat. We have a violet wire. Uh, we have a yellow wire, which is gonna be our Y. Uh, B, which is our reversing valve, coming from our thermostat, and then R. Uh, and that makes up the wires going across the top there. These two right here are our fan wires. They are going to go to the, the fan portion of the board. When it initiates a defrost, it will open the relay and stop the fan while it's in defrost and then we're to the point where we can put our sensors on we have an outdoor ambient sensor and we have a defrost sensor now the defrost sensor uh, converts an ohm or a temperature into an ohm reading and then it tells the board i am at the correct temperature to initiate a defrost and as long as the board is timed out properly it will go into defrost so that's a little bit of a rundown on how a defrost board works, a basic defrost board uh, anyway. So, and then the way it terminates a defrost is when that defrost thermostat raises to a certain temperature or it again times out. All right, we have liftoff. Actually, the minimal time we can set 50 minutes. So I'm not going to sit here and wait 50 minutes to see if this thing will go into defrost. I'm confident in my diagnosis. So you can see that frost pattern is clearing up. unit 
satisfied pretty quickly. And I think we're good here. Like I said, it's going to take a long time for this thing to freeze up the way it was the other day. And this unit has some pretty significant deterioration. I don't think the homeowner's ready just yet to change it out. But it does have some significant de deterioration. Yeah, guys, it is starting to come down. We're expecting some big time weather. Like I said earlier, we're expecting 50 mile an hour winds, um, a ton of rain, and yeah, it's just a bad, bad day. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna make this outro quick because it's it's raining pretty pretty significantly and blowing me all over the place. I'm sure you guys can hear it. So, uh, but yeah, that's how I work through a frozen outdoor unit, especially one with a bad defrost board. Uh, pretty basic stuff here, guys. So, if you got something out of today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.